Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cesar, there's a video here today and uh, excuse the intro, it's just whatever, I didn't have enough time to actually record it and right now, if you probably heard in the quick beginning, I have family over and I don't want to share them or uh, show them on film or whatever, but yo, enjoy the video, it's re uh, redesigning PSDs from my Discord, discord.gg slash if you guys want to participate and uh, yeah, that's all I got, enjoy. All right, guys, so uh, let's get this thing started right here, right now, with the first design, um, this Trey in the Bay poster. Uh, what is his name? Trey Lance? I don't I mean, I'm, I hardly, I'm gonna lie, I'm like a super casual, like, sports watcher. Um, designed by epix 52 by the way. So he sent me this, and I literally looked at it, I was like, this is honestly a really great start. It's a good idea, it's a cool, uh, cool concept, but I do think a few things are kind of lacking just right off the bat, in my opinion. However, I do think the actual text itself is a bit boring. Right, and I do think the fact that he has this really cool sort of like um, tape texture here going on here over here as well, almost like to give like off like grunge vibes in a way. Um, and that's like I want to kind of maybe like use a font that maybe represents that a little bit. The cutout is actually pretty good, right? If I look and zoom in really well, I mean it's it's cut out really well, right? However, the picture quality is just super shot. I want to use this photo and this photo, so like really really good high quality photos. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get this thing started. So first things first, I'm actually gonna run this in through a nice little color correction because I wanna kinda like tone it, make it look really hard and dope and just cool. Um, the way I'm gonna obviously do that right away, just to kinda show you guys really quick, is this, I'm gonna use a little bit of texture, right? Texture just makes everything look way, way cooler, way more grungy, way more hard style, a little bit of clarity as well. And now I'm just gonna go and try to balance these whites and shadows and try to see what I can get um, out of this. All right, I think for me this is actually pretty good. So of course I wanna cut this baby out real quick as well. All right, so I cut them out. I place them, I think, how I want to have this out. And this is going to be probably, like, be switched up. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. I cut them out pretty well. I do think... I don't even know if these are the same people. Like, high key. I mean, they're obviously the same jersey. That's why I was going off of. Um, but again, I'm, like, super casual. But the, the facial expressions threw me off. These literally could not be the same... If it's not on the lap, but if it is, we're okay. But regardless, I think it looks pretty good here so far. Now, I do want to drag in this little uh, logo in here as well, right? And then maybe even just maybe throw in this little text uh, type little tape thing going on here too. I'm trying to figure out how to actually accumulate this and, uh, you know, kind of put this in a composition. Because I think right away, of course, I want to, of course, at least try to match that idea of the logo being behind here. But this one, I'm going to take this, let's go and erase this off as well. Kind of have this only be this little section here on this left-hand side. Let's get that same kind of background in here as well and see what we're working with right here. Because for one, the fact that he's the same kind of like kind of tone in the background here um, is a little bit weird. I, I want to try like either a drop shadow or like a, a, a gradient map or a vibrant switch and just see kind of where I can go from this. See, now tell me that doesn't look pretty cool, though. Like, if I put a gradient here, somehow color correct him to be a little bit more kind of correct. I feel like he's a little bit too, like, uh, I don't know what the word is, but he's a little too off for me as well. I also wish the picture of his shoe wasn't so cut off. Like, everything here is still, like, it's literally disappeared. So I don't know where it went, but it's probably in the in the ground. So figure that out as well. But, yeah, I think it's a pretty good kind of start. I want to like I don't want to design too heavily just yet. I kind of want to place things around. So I'm going to put the tray in the bay thing. So I'm going to put tray... Uh, in the, and then we'll do bay, in the bay. We got to figure out how to put this, you know, kind of make it look cool. Let's also find a font real quick first. All right, I think this font's actually pretty dope. The decaying felt pan, pen, that's, sure, that's what it's called. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good little font there. I also have this font here. So what I'm also thinking is if I do like, what if we put like his touchdowns, like TD, don't like they have those on scorecards, like TD, um, like, and they put like, I don't know, like 70, that's a lot, but I don't even know. I don't, regardless, right, something like that, I'll have this would be like a yellow. That could be a nice little addition also put in there as a little, like, almost like a, like, I, like, how do you say, like, designing with type as well, but also just using a little bit in, important information as well for his career and stats. So I'm going to grab his stats real quick. I'm going to kind of try to grab like three different things, um, to see what it looks like. All right, so all I have are stats from like 2018 or 2019. I'm just gonna throw these in here. Um, we'll spread this apart a little bit more as well, maybe. Just gives us a little more breathing room. So I wanna kinda do what this person already did. Um, e, I was gonna call him E, Trey Bay, and then you put in the, right? So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to do that same exact thing, but also try to incorporate the, um, the, the cool little, like, what is it called? The tape here as well. Let's try to figure that out real quick. Let's put this over here. Um, so I'm gonna do like this, like in the, I'm gonna put the in the like right here. We'll make the tape like, I think we're gonna make the tape yellow, I think in this case. Let's say like this yellow over here. 
And that's pretty good to me. Cool. So the inside for the in the, let's make this like, like a, like that, like this color. That could be kind of fire. See, like that's pretty good right there. I like how that is. I'm gonna kind of like offset this a little bit more, but a little bit less at the same time. All right, I think that's a pretty solid, this ring is a pretty solid look so far. Like I do like this a lot. I'm gonna actually combine all these together, this as well, right? I like this look. Maybe even if we skew it, right? Like like skew it to the, like the left or the this way. Just a little bit of action in there. That's a pretty, okay. I like this a little bit, like something like that. I'm okay with this. Maybe I wanna take these yard stuff and stuff, put this like over here. Or not yard stuff and stuff, but like put the yards and the stats in here as well. We'll throw this like on the top side and do the same skew, I think. And I'll shrink them a little bit more. So that way it reads as one line. Since I did that, I can take this logo over here as well and throw this like bottom right maybe. All right, I think this is a pretty good placement. I put it behind the actual uh, player himself. I also might give this a little bit of shadow. So let's just say, yo, I make a new layer just like so. We'll go into here, we'll use a nice little shadow brush, something like, just like giving it a little bit of depth in here, right? Like this, it'd be like right here as well. And obviously I hate the shoe part. I don't really know what to do about that, but we'll just say whatever for now. We'll just give this some kind of like platform. We might need to figure out a way to also give it a platform too, like, right? Cause like also his legs are a little bit cut out awkward. I'll fix that later. But I think like the shadow work, right? If we just put a shadow here, it doesn't quite like work, right? So in my opinion, like maybe we need to throw on, mm, what if I threw on like some sort of tape? Would that be kind of cool or is that dumb? Like use the tape as a platform there. Wait, 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 that's kind of fire. Hold on, that's actually kind of fire. Let me just, let me try to throw the same yellow thing on here. Okay, what about this? I mean, ah, uh, dude, that's just so difficult to work with. We're just gonna kind of go with it for now. Like give it a little bit of Gaussian blur as well. Got to go crazy with the Gaussian blur, but just a little bit. So maybe, just maybe, we do gotta figure out a nice way to throw in a little bit more yellow on this right-hand side, because right now it's super heavy green. So I have an idea. What if I were to open up this logo again in Illustrator real quick, right? And only take the yellow parts, like this face, like outline, is this gonna be weird if I try to throw this in the back here? I feel like that's a nice hint of color. I don't wanna kinda interact with this or interact too much with this. I think this is a nice little kind of like cup to hold the text inside right there but this part over here i'm a little confused maybe this right here is pretty nice i think i like how that's interacting pretty i, I think i do like how this is looking okay now i do want to spice this up just a little bit with some grunge so i'm going to figure out what grunge texture i can use let's just type try, try just some grunge textures i actually just had some laying around so i'm going to just throw these in here on like the tape right here especially this part of the tape too let's just toss this in here where are we going with this look? I don't want it to be too hectic though. Like that's a little bit too much. Like I don't have a cleaner one like this maybe. Maybe something like that. What if I just take the green or take the black and kind of like minimize it with a nice darker green? Is that the move? I don't really know. I don't really think so. Something like that. I feel like that's pretty good. Now let me throw on something from over here. Let me see, what, do we, what else do we have over here? I think we pretty much nailed all the other things from here. So I'm just gonna add in like some other stuff like, let's take this, we'll go over here, lower this down a little bit, and we're gonna give this a nice little glow on this just because we can. Warp this light to be more around him. Take the eraser and figure it out, like something like this. Make sure we're highlighting the guy, right? Then we're highlighting in the, I think it looks pretty dope too. Okay. Like, I wanna fix the gradient in the background just a little bit. I feel like it's a little too dark, so I'm gonna try to take this and and work with it. Honestly, I even think if I take, like, an eye from this and give, like, the, the logo itself like a little bit of a casing, it might feel a little bit better. Like, if I were to take this, right, make this bigger, right, to kind of fill this bottom space, I might even make it like a blackish sort of tone, like a blackish green sort of tone, almost like, like it's matching something from this top helmet part just to add a little bit more like contrast here. I feel like if it's like white or yellow or green, it's just, it's just gonna look too like that. Okay, overall, let's just say real quick, if we combine all these things together, we throw with this like a nice little final color correction real quick. Let me just kind of do that for us. We got a pretty good look. I mean, let's just toss in this one over here as well. Yeah, I mean, to me, I like this a lot. I'm okay with this. I'm satisfied with this. I think we just add a little more character to the type 
um, right, just kind of put a little brush font in there. We incorporated the tape a little bit more as well, um, just to make it look like more of like a grunge urban style design. Adding noise might have been a little bit of a stretch, but I think for now, I think I'm like today says so is okay with this. Tomorrow says so might hate it, but that's okay. I think the composition still the same. We just added a few more different elements, like the bigger photo of him in the background, just to give a little bit more context of just kind of like a, a foreground of him, a midground of the actual player in the background, a little bit bigger, and then a background being the nice little logo on the left hand side. Um, and a little tight texture here, the yards, touchdowns, and whatever. A little information there. I think it's pretty prime placement. I, th I think I like how that looks. Um, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how we kind of designed this PSD um, from what we had. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm down. You guys let me know in the comments below how I did. I think I did pretty well, if I may say so myself. Um, let's go ahead and go on to the next project and see what we can create um, with our final project. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, so it's the next day for me. However, we are back at it doing a little cool little eSports poster design, kind of like team, maybe announcement thing of, of some kind of sort. Um, his name is iShrack. So the concept he has here, it seems like in his PSD, he was taking some inspiration from an, uh, another team known as Sentinels. Um, and, you know, I get the idea and the concept here. The, like a few things I can mention like right away for me personally is the weird sort of like group of names up here, just kind of like, in this far right corner is kind of uh, a bit awkward um also the fact that he uses the tallest um how do you say character here in the in the far left side automatically for me unbalances the entire concept and like makes it kind of look feel you know a little weird right um so i'm gonna first thing i'm gonna put this guy in the middle of course then you kind of have this like focus light in the background here i see the noise going on here as well i think the the execution of which or the idea of which he was going for is like clean it, it's the I, I get the idea of what he was going for however the execution the layering and the kind of method that he used to you know kind of do one step and then the other step that's where i think it went wrong um personally but of course it's not a bad design at all i just want to see what i can do with it take the same exact concept same exact stuff and uh yeah let's just let's just go into it. we're pretty blind into it so let's let's just let's just see what happens all right first things first going through and i get the idea he wanted he wanted to color correct this okay i can see that idea there he's using two fonts as well that we already know of so he's using a kira here and then a rame there um so let's just see let's just let's actually get the characters right we have those all right so i'm gonna take these bad boys i think the way i'm gonna put them together you see how like just like putting him more toward the middle makes it look a little bit better in my opinion so let me say i wish she was a little bit less like where she is maybe if she was behind and we move Luce, what is his name lucy not lucio is it lucio i have no idea i forgot um okay like right around there okay that's looking pretty like that's pretty that's, okay I'll, i'm okay with that um i also see you put a little texture or like little idea of like taking his team name putting on the, the cloak really nice job there for sure but i think for me that layering is gonna be pretty solid right around here i think yeah hell yeah okay so i think before i actually continue i need to make sure i throw in the tenacity name and then we'll throw in these little names over here as well let's do that first all right, now for me, I think this is a pretty good little setup for this. So realistically, in my opinion, when it comes to like team names and stuff like that, I don't know if you have to have it be as prevalent or as present as you necessarily need to be. I think when the logo is pretty present and like the overall theme and brand is also speaking, you kind of get the idea that it's for that team regardless, right? Um, in my case, it's a little bit more special since I'm not really following any guidelines of any teams of some sort. But right, you can see this little formation feels a little bit better already just from this um, overall concept of how this started off here. So I see he has this little glow in the bottom here. I'm gonna try to at least go for that same exact little glow. Maybe even see, I'll see how he color correct the actual characters here. So it seemed like the only real color correction that he did was just put this little sort of red hue around the objects. I'm guessing it maybe looks something more like this. Um, okay, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize, not rasterize, smart object these layers real quick. I'm gonna go into these and also give them a little more hardness, or more of a texture and see where I can go from there. I changed it a little bit, made it a little more darker. I think that's gonna work for us though. Yeah, see that looks pretty good, okay. Okay, so we pretty much nailed all the other elements that we have in here. So we, all the little supporting assets now would be the smoke texture, um, lightning, which I think is this one right here. And that's pretty much it, right? And then the overall color correction that he did. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into here and we'll take the smoke texture and throw with this in here as well. Now the smoke texture you actually got is pretty solid. Like if I toss this in, rotate a little bit more, make it be more filled around the canvas. Like over here, I think it's a little bit more kind of right side heavy and like top heavy, right? So over here, if we just rotate it, give a little more of an even setting, we're looking pretty solid. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna take away the color overlay, just use a gradient map here. Keep the left side red, make the second side on this right hand side, more whatever this tone is that's going on here. And like move it over just a little bit towards like this right here. Just so I can get a more of a fullness. And if I want to, I can take this 
even throw in more of the darkers. So if I just move the marker here toward the left hand side, you can make it a little more depth heavy, which I think is a little bit more better in my opinion. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do is just to take the nice little color here and give a nice little sort of like glow on the bottom. Okay, now for this glow, we're gonna make it pretty subtle. Um, do I wanna put it over things or nah? No, I wanna keep it below it. Get that noise in here as well to kinda help break up the background. Let's say like two or so. We wanna go too heavy with it. So I think now with like the little smoke and like the, the little background noise and whatever, it looks pretty good. We're gonna add in some electricity. Now I'm just gonna use some brushes that I actually have uh, because I do think this stock here is actually pretty trash in my opinion. It, it just too, it's too fake looking in my opinion. I think it, it just holds a little bit, yeah, eh, you know, not great. So we're gonna take a little, uh, a little fine, sorry, I'm trying to think. Fine like lightning stocks here. I'm just gonna take them Make them little multiples over here, maybe. That's way too much. I think for sure, the more subtle we are with this, the, the 10 times better this is going to look. See, like, that's pretty hard. That that one right there is a really, really nice one. Um, I want to maybe redo this one over here to kind of match that same vibe. Honestly, that's a pretty good one, too. Okay. So now, okay, I'm happy with this. What I want to do for sure, though, is get a little bit of a color kind of like almost like a, uh, uh, how do you say, like a light shot from the back of their themselves, I think to kind of add a little bit of an, an actual assistance to the actual lighting to the renders, I think that's gonna look pretty good. And I think that'll help give an idea that there's more of a light source in the back. And maybe let's just see like, if we wanna add in that kind of color theory-esque idea with um, like paint on like a nice red glow on their legs or something like that, it might look pretty good, let's see. So I'm basically gonna put a hue and saturation with a colorized filter on it. We're gonna turn this off, the mask off, right? Then we'll go over here and use like a flow around like 50 is pretty okay. Opacity at about 35. Let's just say 35 and like 45 here. I'm gonna go ahead and go into this and see if I can add a nice simple cascading color in here. I wanna definitely try to be intentional of where I'm putting it just so it looks a little bit realistic, but I'm not too great at realism here. So I'm just gonna try my absolute best. So right now I want to do a little bit of shadow work here. So I, I basically put a shadow as if like the Reinhardt hammer thing was like casting over his head here. The sniper here is casting a little bit of a shadow here. And I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow here to be, you know, kind of help uh, as well as with like depth as well. Same thing with this. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just, I'm just going to make this like figure it out. We're going to just try to figure this out. I'm not the best at this. So I'm trying my damn, uh, my damn best, but let's just see. I'm going to do another shadow behind here. All right, I'm definitely a fan. I'm definitely a fan of where this is going. Um, okay, I'm okay with this. I think the shadow work is, it could use definitely more work, but I do think for the the idea behind it, at least I kind of somewhat did it. I believe I want to add in this little sentinels idea with like the, the duplicating sort of like, um, you know, imagery or text in the back of their name. Uh, I want to add in the logo as well here. And then the overall color correction, we're not going to make it look crazy as harsh as this might be. But we're going to make it a little more subtle, just a little more things. I think we're going to be good with, uh, good to go, honestly. I do think the gradient looks pretty nice. It's pretty subtle at the same time, right? I just kind of blended the background with it with blend if as well. I think now that we have something on this left-hand side over here, we might as well just make this a nice little darker color. Throw that over here. All right, I'm going to combine all this stuff together real quick. Make it a smart object. Throw it into camera raw filter. I'm going to do a nice little final little color correction here and hopefully bring it to life just a little bit more. All right, before I do that, I actually clicked on accident, but it looks pretty good. If I just add in that sort of like very, very subtle in the background black, little sort of, uh, how do you say, what do you call it? Uh, electricity, right? Or lightning strike right here. And I added right here as well. I think, oops, where was it? Right here, right? I think it looks pretty freaking good. I think I'm going to go with this. I just think I'm going to go with this and I'm going to call this and maybe make this red and kind of like call it a day. I think that's the play here. All right, I'm definitely at the point where I need to stop adding. Uh, so I'm going to just say this is pretty solid, but I do think it might be pretty cool if I throw in the texture or the smoke above as well on the same exact point, use a like layer style and just go into here and kind of erase around. Maybe just to give it a little more depth of like, this is like smoke. It's in front of people. It's not just behind them, but it's also in front and it might just make it look a little bit more cooler in my opinion, but I don't know. What if it's not? Yeah, I do think that's the move. I think it just adds a little bit more. It just adds a little bit more and it works. Okay, I think we're done. Let me add in that same color correction that I had before. All right, and just like that, very minor tweaks, right? Just bringing out some of the, the, the highlights and depth in there. And I think just like that, I think this is done. I think this is done. I think this is done. Let me get a comparison real quick. 
So this is the comparison. I think it's actually, it makes sense. I think what I did, I helped kind of like home in on the focus of the actual renders themselves, gave them a little bit less of a harsh aggression, uh, sort of like color correction, and kind of like let the ideas of what he wanted, like the lightning, the smoke, and like the lighting kind of like shine, right? And then just kind of cleaned up a little bit of typography placement. Like right now, I'll throw in the sort of before and after, and you can see hopefully what I'm talking about. And you can also probably see how much stronger the relation of like the characters themselves, of like how the Reinhardt or the bigger model is in the, uh, uh, actually more towards the middle and not towards the left-hand side. It just adds a little bit more cooler look in my opinion, and I think we did a pretty solid job. Okay, that's it. We're definitely done. We're not touching this thing anymore. Um, that's it. All right, yo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video here today. I know we only do two in today's uh, in today's episode, but I do think I'm just gonna kind of stick with two. I think it's nice and easy, simple, and a little more short for you guys to watch as well. So you guys, let me know. Of course, if you guys want to go ahead and participate in these episodes, all you guys have to do is go to my Discord, which is uh, discord.gg slash sohq. Go to redesigning. Uh, you see the tab there, and just drop in your PSD and uh, maybe even a preview picture of what it is. So I don't have to actually open up the PSD. But yo. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so very much. If you guys enjoyed this series, please be sure to put, excuse me, English is hard. Please be sure to leave a like on the video so I can actually know. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Sensor HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. And just saying, this right here is coming pretty soon. Just, just pointing that out there. I love you guys. Enjoy your day.